EA Sports, within the game. This is one of those offensive performances that I'll never forget. What a game.
opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Los Angeles Rams and the Chicago Bears. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. the middle and he'll work this forward for about three at second down this defense for the Rams they played really well in that win last week against Miami and no matter what's done throughout a ball game it always comes back to blocking and tackling that's the essence of football but I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle especially open field very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. From just shy of midfield, Murray. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And oh my, mistake there. Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and ten. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up, but I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big game, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? 
He's got a man complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. On first and 10, Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. On second down, Cook. They find some open field here. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. So it's still first and goal, but now they get to try from a bit closer. Cook is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Evans. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I touchdown! A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Rams go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken in at the three. prepping for their next drive the Bears offense and they enter play here in this one on a two game win streak plus they come off the open week as well so this is a team that has a lot of things working in their favor oh, it certainly is and let's face it this team is playing so well the worry now is that after a few extra days off they'll be sluggish coming into this game so I've heard that he spent more time in practice working what they call good versus good, starting offense versus starting defense. They want a fast start in this next game. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch it, turn up field, pick up the first down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Murray. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. This is caught. It's Cooks. Touchdown, Rams. Brandon Cooks from 21 yards away. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Let's go now. 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit, but get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Well, the Bears at two and six now on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. On second down, Kamara. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The last run got six, now second and four. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. The running game's played a huge part of getting them down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll keep it on the ground. Woodward. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Coming left is Kamara. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Again, Kamara. 
And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Here we go with Kamara. And this time he is in. Alvin Kamara with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bears' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. to seven. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Fields it right around the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles drives one and two. But he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And that's how you start a drive because you know they had this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity, unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. And you can see in the next gen stats that one at 62 yards in the air. Give them maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Prescott. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. Down inside the 10, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll run with Cook, and this time they were ready for him as they'll stop it right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. You talk about closing in a hurry as a safety and run support. Not only did he get a good run in, he gave him a pretty good pop, too, and finished off the play behind the line of scrimmage. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Prescott steps away to his left. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Out is Carlson now for the Raider field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. off the left upright and it caroms away no good and this will remain a one touchdown game so first and goal quickly turns into fourth and goal and then fourth and goal turns in to no points whatsoever that's a very disappointing sequence of events right there and i for one would not want to be the kicker has to run over to his head coach and explain that one at the line prepping for their next drive the bears offense well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. Was that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Here's Murray. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. 
And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. First and ten, here's Murray. And this pass is caught by London. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Kamara trying the right side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down, and it's Kamara again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Murray now steps away and that is incomplete when you're a capable runner oftentimes your quarterback coach your offensive coordinator they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there instead he pushed it downfield incomplete and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. Murray and company going for it on fourth. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. They'll get this down to the 21 just on the edge of the red zone. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. to throw it's Murray nowhere to turn this time and he goes down sack back of the 29 now the offense will burn their third and final timeout and with half time on the horizon they'll be out of timeouts from here forward so on third down the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half from the left hash this from 46 and he missed it it's no good it's been a nightmare season. You're well under 500. Your defense hasn't really kept in a lot of games. And now it's spilling over to the kicking game. That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Final play of the half, Prescott. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. 
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Extra point by Carlson up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken in at the three. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he'll weave all the way up to just a few yards shy of midfield. A great return. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Throwing on first down is Murray. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Trying the left side with Kamara. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's Murray from midfield. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful they get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. Let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. To throw is Prescott. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Call it a gain of a yard. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. So an interesting decision at this stage of the game to go for it. You think maybe that missed field goal earlier had anything to do with it? If it did, I'm really surprised because usually one miss is not enough to alter your game plan. 
My only thought is maybe he got hurt, or maybe they just understand that it's not his day for some other reason we don't know right now. But in general situations, you run him back out there and let him have another chance. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Murray going to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Quick throw complete to Reynolds. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Here's Kamara out of the pistol. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 42. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. They run. It's Kamara. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So now following the roll of the dice, they've got a first and 10 inside the 35. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. To about the 26 here. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And they give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. They'll run it with Kamara. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call the gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score games, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. About a half yard from the end zone. Third and goal. And then turn to the power game to try to get in. Yeah, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. I know they're going through all the possibilities right now, but the truth of the matter is a field goal doesn't do them a ton of good. It'd still be a two-score game, so to me, go for it. Go for it boldly. The 
try and run for it. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. Camara on fourth and goal, unable to get in. And this Rams defense comes up with a goal line stand. First down, Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. The 40. The 20. Touchdown, L.A. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Rams are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Carlson now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Go! At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. A nice look and play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pickup there, 21 yards. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkle. I wonder if they're wandering back to the huddle thinking to themselves, can we just hit rewind and go back a play? Definitely not the down they wanted to begin this drive by giving up a sack. But for the defense, that's exactly how they drew it up. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there, and trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. He's going to take another shot here. 
That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. That's right. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. He has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Murray now to throw. Now he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Camara is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far and it's cost them. On second and goal, Murray. Touchdown, Bears! Dallas got him. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bears have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got the two-score lead. It looked, though, they fumbled last possession, led to a touchdown. So while things look good here at this state, it's caught inside the 25. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 56 yards. First down, Rams. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Well, Prescott here to throw. That is incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting the game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. 